there are 10 things that you need to do when building a house. Do not build a house before watching this. Welcome to my channel where I help you design and create your dream home. Today, I'm sharing tips that will save you from loads of regret. We've all heard the home build horror stories. Truthfully, a lot can go wrong, but thankfully, most mistakes can easily be avoided. When it comes to building a house, there are some things you need to do before you sign the contract. This step-by-step -step process is the secret to having a more enjoyable and cost-effective experience. In building five homes for myself and helping over 500 others do the same, I've learned the hard way what not to do. I know that every dollar counts and I've personally felt regret for poor decisions I made while designing my own homes. Make sure you watch to the end where I'll share some recommendations to guide you through the home build process. Okay, here are 10 things that you need to know before you build a home. Number one, understand your budget and set a firm final price before you do anything. Reach out to a local lender to see what your approximate monthly mortgage payment would be. Keep in mind, mortgage rates will fluctuate during the eight to 12 months that it usually takes for a home to be built. In other words, make sure the final price of the home isn't at the very top of your budget. Carefully consider your comfort level, and if you have a partner, make sure you're both in agreement on the maximum price. Number two, make a list of your wants and needs. Many of you don't have the ability to build your dream home. <laughs> The struggle is real, but even those of you who are planning to build your dream home, usually you're unable to add every single option or upgrade that you desire. It can be difficult to balance what you need versus adding the features that will be more expensive or impossible to add later. So to help you make the best choices, make a list of your wants and needs. Then when the time comes to design your house, make sure you have everything that you need before you consider your wants. This might include a specific location, which could drastically increase the starting price of your house. The remaining budget after adding the needed items is for your wants. But let's not put the cart before the horse. There's some important things that you need to do first. One of the most common mistakes is trying to do everything on your own. So before you visit a model home, number three, hire a new home construction specialist to guide you through the home build process. Did you know that having a realtor, someone to look out for your best interest, won't cost you a dime? No joke, the builder will pay your agent. But do your research and find an agent who has experience dealing with home builders and who understands the home build process. When things go wrong, your agent can be the one to deal with the builder. A new home construction specialist is far more likely to find mistakes while the home is being built and they'll have the confidence to send it to the builder when the quality of work is unacceptable. Many who have built a home without an agent have complained that the builder bullied them into signing off on things, refused to make repairs, and etc. If you live in Utah and you're ready to build a house, please don't hesitate to reach out to me with your questions. I'd be honored to serve you in any way that I can. Next, you need to, number four, research the builders you're considering. You're making a huge financial commitment Quality should be one of your highest priorities. You might not want to choose a company to build your home that's known for poor workmanship or bad customer service. The home build process is stressful and dealing with a builder who doesn't care can make it miserable. Read online reviews and if possible, talk to people who built with the builders you're considering. Or save yourself the hassle by hiring an agent who already knows the local builders. A good rule of thumb is to choose a builder who has a three and a half star rating or better. But if you find a great property with a low rated builder, you might decide the risk is worth it. Usually, you'll be just fine to build with them, but you'll wanna be extra vigilant. When you're done here, you'll wanna watch how to find the best home builder. Look for the link in the description below. Number five, incentives. In good markets or bad, most builders offer some kind of incentive and it can vary significantly from builder to builder. They may offer a credit for upgrades or pay your closing costs and things of this nature. But it comes with a catch. Builders usually tie this incentive to using their preferred lender. In other words, if you want the deal, you need to use the builder's trusted lender. Now the incentive that they're offering can be quite significant when comparing to other builders. I'm working with a client right now who's trying to decide between two similar builders. The builder they prefer is priced slightly higher and offering a $10,000 design center credit. The competitor is offering 3% of the final price of the home towards closing cost and a rate buy down. That would equal nearly $25,000. And the builder offering the better deal also has a much better reputation. Now, just real quick, if you find this information helpful, please give the video a thumbs up for real estate tips and to stay up to date on the latest housing trends, please subscribe and ring the bell below to be notified each time I post new videos. I'd appreciate it more than you know. Okay, number six, select a location, home builder, and a floor plan. Start by looking online at builders in your desired location. 
Take notes, writing down the builders and the floor plans that stand out. Hopefully the builder has pricing on their site so you know if they're in your price range. Remember that the advertised price is not the final price. Next, schedule time with your agent to visit the model home or model homes if you're considering multiple builders. When you visit a model home, confirm that the base price of the house that you like plus a home site is within your budget. If not, the builder might have a cheaper location or you might opt to build a smaller home or look at other builders. If the pricing works, see if the builder has a completed version of the house that you like that you can walk through. You may need to look at homes under construction. If you're considering multiple builders, finding which one offers the best value can be difficult because it's rarely an apples to apples comparison. Some builders include loads of great features while others come very basic. The builder that's offering the lowest price isn't always the best deal. When comparing builders, make sure you also take into account their included features. Once you found a floor plan that you love and the price is right, it's time to... Number seven, choose a home site. Usually, the bigger and better home site is gonna cost you more. The additional cost can be anywhere from a few thousand dollars to more than $100,000. Not to mention, some builders include the price of a standard home site in the price while others charge it separately. If you build a larger home or add features that give the home a bigger footprint, you may need to purchase a larger home site. This will cut into your budget, reducing the number of options and features that you can add. When margins get a little too tight, a lot of people choose a more affordable location. This gives them the ability to purchase a better home. In a moment, I'll show you how to really dial in the pricing to make sure you find the builder who's offering the best value. Now, before you get too excited, and especially before you sign a contract, you need to, number eight, add your options and upgrades. This is where it gets complicated because builders don't have a price sheet for options and upgrades. It might seem like they're trying to hide something, but first, prices change all the time. Keeping a list of options up to date would be a complete nightmare. Second, the prices for options like flooring, cabinets, and etc., are based upon the size of the home. Third, many items, especially custom changes, need to be priced out individually. Adding to the frustration, most builders won't allow you to visit the design center before you sign a contract because design appointments can take several hours. They don't have the time or the manpower to price out homes for everyone who might buy a house. So how do you find out what the home will cost before you write a contract? Well, the model home agent should be able to provide a fairly accurate estimate. And they should be able to get pricing for larger items like a three car garage, gourmet kitchen, grandmaster bath, taller ceilings and things of this nature. When you sign a contract, you should know within $10,000-ish where your final price will be. Once you have the approximate price, you can, number nine, write the contract. Make sure your agent is at this appointment. You need to understand that most builder contracts are one-sided, protecting them and not you. Building a house can be a little bit of a gamble. As we saw just after COVID, builders can cancel you at any time and for any reason. Some builders require their clients to pay more for the house or they would cancel you. Builders also have the right to modify your plans if needed. The risk on your part is if mortgage rates jump or an unfortunate event makes it so you can no longer afford the home. If this happens, the builder could keep all of your deposits. I am in no way siding with the builder, but they do carry a majority of the financial liability. In these unfortunate events, often a knowledgeable buyer's agent is able to negotiate a better outcome for their clients. Here in Utah, I know which builders will give you a price lock guarantee, meaning that once you're under contract, they will not increase your price. Number 10, design your home. This is the most exciting part, and it's often where many buyers get themselves into trouble. Stick to your budget and start with items on your needs list before selecting the things that you want. When you've added all your wants, start with the structural items, which are often impossible or more expensive to do after the home is completed. Because costs are always shifting, your pricing for structural changes and upgrades are not guaranteed until you make your final selections and sign the final price addendum. I go in depth on the design process in another video, what upgrades should I add when building a house? I'll put a link to that video below as well. Now that you've made all your selections, you're done. Though I should set the expectation that a month or two could pass before the builder starts on your home. Your house plans will go to the architect and an engineer before going through the city for a permit. The builder can't start on your home without a permit from the city and some cities are slow. Be prepared for multiple delays throughout the home build process. It's normal and you'll need to practice some patience. Now as promised, here's my list of recommended videos. To prepare yourself, I highly recommend you watch How a House is Built, the most comprehensive video ever created on the home build process. Before you start meeting with builders, you might wanna watch the most important questions to ask before you build a home. 
And if you're trying to decide if it's a good time to build a house, check out why right now is the perfect time to build. You'll find links to all my recommended videos in the description below. If you're looking to buy, sell, build a home, or invest in Utah real estate, I get contacted all the time. Please feel free to call or text me with your questions. I'd love to meet you and I'm honored to serve you. For everyone else, please feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. I always do my best to respond to each one of you. If you have friends or family members looking to build a home, you can easily text this video to them. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell to be notified each time I post new videos. Also, you can find me on Instagram at Ty the Real Estate Guy. If you found this information helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and don't forget to ring that little bell below. It'll make you feel good.